So, all right, this is the Pixel Experience plus Android 13 released for Redmi Note 10. And it has been two to three days. I'll be using this custom room over this device and I'll be covering each and every topic related to its battery, UI, performance and everything related to it. So if you are new to this channel and watches content related to this, then you must subscribe to this channel and give a thumbs up to this video. So let's get started to the video. So first of all, I would like to talk about what we are getting in this uh, device first ever of this version of custom room and you can see this device android version is based on 13 with the latest february 5th 2023 security update as you can see and the kernel version is pixel experiences itself being used and the build number as you can see in this here written also now talking about much more first of all i would like to talk about from the smoothness of this custom rom and everything uh, related to customization and smoothness so first of all you can see that this room does not uh, overclocks the device to 120Hz or 90Hz, we already get it 60Hz but in 60Hz the performance of the UI feels buttery smooth you are not getting any sort of lag in this device as you can see that I am scrolling, opening and doing everything and it does not have any sort of issues and you are not getting any much more customizations because it is pixel experience but it is a plus addition so we are getting few of the customizations like in the gestures you get you might get in the nested navigation options yeah you get some of the customizations in the gesture navigation as you can see ever and not talking about much more there here is the buttons option you can customize according to your this were the new set not new settings normal customizations i'm not got into their details here is the status bar option and everything is working I have cross checked everything that is all working you can dirty flash this rom if you have older version of pixel experience of the last january month so you can flash over it it does not have any issues so now talking about first of the section which is customization part in the smoothest part let us dive in and see what the benchmark results that we are getting in this device forever so first of all i have taken all the things a screenshot of the performance that i have took so far and the scores were like these this is a cpu throttling test that i have run for 15 minutes as you can see that and from here you can see that the max is 142 g ips it is at first time so cpu throttle 79 percent max performance and the battery is okay at time at that time and this is again i have took that and the same results i have got into this so not much more change this is a benchmark results of the geekbench with the multi-core and single core as you can see that this is the slingshot test and it performs pretty good in the physical test you get to see that 51 fps support is also been there and this is the netflix uh, you can see that you're getting the l1 with the no hdi capabilities because it is not another custom rooms like evolution ax or the room which supports uh, netflix spoofing that's why we are not getting that but you can see that now this is the safety net status that is being passed you can see that the cts profile is also been passed over there now this is the device certification as you can see that the device certified is available and guys there is a small request if you are watching this video please please subscribe because it doesn't really cost you anything but i am not well i am suffering from video but still i am making videos for you all so please give at least one subscribe and i am setting a hundred likes target so please complete in that this is a wi-fi calling option if you enable or do not enable wi-fi calling it will work on the wi-fi so it does not have any issues the idle battery drop is of eight percent and i usually got eight percent eight hours of what do you say sot according to my users i use this lightly youtube uh, yt studio work and editing and few of the pixel lab work so not much but yeah i do also use twitter instagram but no issues in my charging this is the charging uh, test and it has 4169 ma which means that 33 watt charging is working fine and this is the unlimited google photos and it is also been working now much more already i have talked about what do you say benchmarks now let us talk about in the settings what we are getting and is there any sort of bugs that i have encountered so ever so first of all this is network internet settings no issues with the wi-fi my i have 30 mbps not sorry 100 mbps wi-fi connection and the 100 mbps working is fine over there i haven't faced any what do you say proximity issues on the, over the call and you are getting call recording of the google dialer but no 
she announces that the call is being recorded so be aware of that while recording the calls i have make a sort over that how to disable that you can watch that this is the default apps option you get a pixel launcher over there no customizations at all and this is the battery talked about the usage and this is sound profile as you can see no me sound enhancer i already told you that we are not getting any sort of me sound enhancer over here and this is the display section you also getting what do you say ambient display support over there in the lock screen you can see that always show time and info and you can see that uh, always on display is working and i am using fingerprint and the ripple effect is looking too good now this is all that my battery usage does not consist of any always on display so you can consider my battery usage to be best now charging is already talked about those these settings were working if you click on the wallpaper and style everything is working you get the app grid of 5 cross 5 and the theme icon support over there nothing much new has been added until now in the system you get that language and input support here the app languages support and already i have talked much more about these so what i recommend this rom or not this rom is easily flashed you can flash it also by ofox recovery i know ofox have no maintainer right now but you can use the old ofox versions and also you can side load this pixel experience zip why pixel experience recovery or old method wipe cache and format data and just flash the rom so this is all for that i will gonna highly recommend this custom rom because no issues with the banking apps everything is working fine i have used this rom for 2 to 3 days and haven't faced any issues as my primary device so if you really did enjoy the video give a thumbs up and you know what to do so bye bye